my name is Andy Tidy and welcome back to a, another episode of Canal Hunter. In this episode I want to take a look at the Montgomery Canal. Not the whole sprawling 33 miles of the Montgomery Canal which stretches all the way from Newtown north to its junction with the Langothan Canal at Welsh Frankton. I just want to look at the section which is either under restoration or already in water but is not yet navigable south of Maysbury Marsh. Now the Montgomery Canal as it stands is eight miles of navigable canal, restored several decades ago and it's a wonderful tranquil antidote to the busyness of the Langothland to the north. The slightly sad thing is that in the 15 years since we were last here the length of navigable canal hasn't extended by one single meter. But that's not to say there hasn't been an awful lot of work going on in the area. Now a little bit of history about this canal. It was originally built as four separate waterways but by and large it was completed in 1794 and it operated quite successfully for many decades. At one point the canal was placed into railway company ownership and it was worked hard. It was a waterway which extended deep into rival railways territory. But ultimately the canal closed in 1936 when the aqueduct at the Welsh Frankton end collapsed and that effectively brought activity on the canal to a halt until the restoration activity got underway in the latter half of the 20th century. Effort was expended at this end producing the stretch we see today to Maysbury Marsh and then from Ardlene on through Welshpool another section was restored but it did leave this gap and it was a hard to bridge gap. So for the purposes of this episode I want to take a look at the couple of miles south of Gronwyn Bridge. The first mile south of Gronwyn Bridge is already matured and established, it holds water nicely and the edges have become softened with reeds and it looks ready for a boat. The problem is there's nowhere to turn round. In order to reach the next destination, which is Crickheath Basin, the next mile needs to be restored as well and that's what's being worked on right now. Everyone asks the question of when will the whole Montgomery Canal be restored? And the answer is I really don't know. There is an awful lot of channel to be dug, a uh, channel to be relined and concrete blocks to be put in to stretch across the dry section at Pant. And that's before you start to repair the old bridges and the Vernry Aqueduct. But what I would thought I would like to do in this episode is to take a trip along the restored but unnavigable section and the section that's still being worked on. And I'll take that trip by drone and by foot and show you what awaits in the next phase of the release of the Montgomery Canal, taking its navigable length at this end from 8 miles to 10 miles. <laughs>
way this canal is being reconstructed through the dry section is to redig the channel, to line it with waterproof membrane, and then to cover that in concrete blocks. This has been proven to be a very successful way of relining an old canal, and they have just got several miles to do of exactly the same thing. Well, that's the new section of canal that we will very soon be able to visit, and it's a mouth-watering prospect. But if you ask how long will it take us to reach the watered section at Ardleen, well, that's anybody's guess. I generally say 20 years time of any restoration project. That's far enough away in the future to be realistic and close enough to think, well, actually, maybe I will get to see it. I certainly would love to be able to take my boat all the way through to Welshpool, maybe one day. All we need is time, effort and money, especially money. Restoring canals is not a cheap project and this is being done with the support of CRT and using funds wherever they can be found. But this, like most restoration projects, is a very long-term project. But for now, this was the section which we will be cruising next. Hopefully it won't be another 15 years before I return to this canal, and by which time I will be able to cruise a little bit further. But for now, cheerio from the Montgomery, and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.